Dr. Dini. I'm a semi-licensed psychiatrist who makes broad assumptions that viewers agree with. Sometimes you are a bad person. You need help. I don't cure people. I label them. You're a psychopath! You need to lose my weight. Maybe you wouldn't be so depressed if you started drinking again! You're watching Life Choices with Dr. Dini. Meet Blame. He's a troubled adolescent who many call a shithead. I do whatever the fuck I want. I sleep wherever I want. I smoke anything that smokes. I'll kill people. Twice. Well, we've been trying to get the little bastard adopted for like 22 years or something. And why haven't you? Because he's gotten all of his foster mothers very pregnant. It's my professional opinion that you place him in a loving family that will turn his life around in one episode. I know just the pussies to do it. Meet Sam and Donna. They love breakfast, dance parties, and America. We're just your average couple of roommates. You know, we do our work, we do our chores, and we expect whoever's coming over today to do the same. Dog, I'm gonna disrespect both these old ass bitches, dog. Sup, dog? In this house, we knock before we enter, please. I think I have the wrong address. I'm supposed to find a father figure who can help me change my ways, dog. That's me, daddy on duty. Oh. Oh. He thinks it's tough to leave up the toilet seats, but Donna and I catch him every time because we always keep him down. <laughs> God damn it, please! West side, bitch. Looks like these people are gonna need my help. Oh, thank Trump you're here. He's pissing on everything. That's totally normal for a 22-year-old. Let me talk to him. <laughs> well, good luck. I think he might be gay. Come in. My foster dad don't get me, dog. Like, I'm a thug, you know what I'm saying? You think you're a thug. I sell drugs, dog. While he was outside talking to Dr. Dini, I went through his baggies and did not like the things I found. Cigarettes. Oh, Jesus, I know what this is. Donna! Oh, God, he's got an automatic one. I know how much you like these. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to start sipping from the cup because that was the last straw. We went through all your belongings. Yeah, and we confiscated all your fucking guns. You did what? And even worse, I found these cigarettes in your bag. Oh, those aren't and six. to teach you a lesson, I'm gonna make you smoke each and every one. All right? Yeah, it would have been really bad parenting for me to allow that young man to smoke all that shit by himself. I had to lighten his load. Life just goes downhill from here, orphan. Dog, that's why I plan on getting shot on Tuesday. Your tits start to sag, you stop having your period, and your asshole falls right out. What the fuck? You know I'm peeing in the pot I'm not supposed to pee in, dog. No, 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 use the ball. Fuck you, dog. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do Damn. it. Damn, stop. <laughs> this is not your friend or someone you love. This is your child. Now go in there and discipline him. You're asking me to go against everything I believe in. I can't do it. Then you're not getting paid. All right, I got this. Welcome to your first day of home school. Dog, this is stupid. I can't get through to him. Maybe Dr. Dini's right. I need to lay down the law. Listen, punk, during school hours, you call me Mr. Sam. Uh, Donna, we agreed you can sit in my class if you stop passing notes. That's not all I'm passing. Blame, you want to share that note with the rest of the class? Man, why you always got to pick on me, dog? Let me see it. Hell no, it's my note. I'm going to donate all your guns to homeless people. It's a dick, dog. All right, Donna, you can go to the detention bathroom. Fucking shit! Education's for kids. Spit it out. Hell no. You win some, you lose some. Blame, I'd appreciate it if you can eat your vegetables, please. You want to eat a dick, faggot? All right, well, then you can just go to bed, potty mouse. I did not expect him to tell me to go to bed in such a way. Hey, right, that's cool. That's cool. I'll go to bed, dog. Putting him to bed was a mistake. Now I can't get him up. I've had to resort to using gas. That was my worst one and nothing. Woo, Blame, you got this. Why I gotta do this shit, dog? Cause sports makes you a man. Now hit me with your Spit it out. Every time he does something good, I reward him by giving him back one of his guns. Yo, I got these dishes did, dog. Good job. That earns you back the pistol. That's what's up. And if you scrub the toilets, I'll give you back your ammunition. That's not my ammo. I think your method worked, doctor. Thanks to you, I'm gonna be the kind of thug society expects me to be, dog. It's very simple. Just follow the program. Brutalize him once a week. Thank you. It works. I'm gonna apply all your methods, Dr. Dini. That's all what good parenting is. You're the rightest little Indian woman I know. You're welcome. Oh, I can't take it no more. Please hug me now. <laughs> You're such a good dad. We faked it, dog. All of it. Shit, we ain't changed. We just decided we were done with that little woman telling us how to live, so we decided to pretend her methods work so she'd leave. Yeah, like, 
I know I'm already a good person, dog. Yeah, I think I'm a pretty good person, too. He took a shit in the Scrabble game! All right, you can get out now, please. Yeah, I...